Hey guys, um, welcome. As per promise, I'm going to show you how to program Newton's method using Mathematica. I already made a, a theory video explaining um, how and why Newton's method works. So if that's what you're after, you should check that out. But here, we're going to show you how to program Newton's method. Yeah? Cool. All right. Um, so to get started, let's title it. Mm, 24 is good. So Newton's, ah, actually I want bigger than 24 because I want the content to be 24. Um, so there. And as I explained in the theory video, what it does is uh, it estimates uh, zeros of functions, right? For functions that are differentiable. Okay, cool. Now, um, so first we need to uh, figure out what our function should be, uh, the function whose zeros we're trying to estimate. So let's pick a nice and simple um, function. How about x squared minus 4 or a minus 9? Why not? Um, and we know that the two zeros of this function are x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. Um, so depending on what our initial guess of the zero is, um, Newton's method will either find us negative three or a positive three. All right, cool. Um, so let's say that our initial um, guess is five, that we think that uh, the zero is five. Cool. Um, All right, so that's our initial guess. And now uh, we're going to write uh, the iterative uh, part of um, this program. And we can do this using a while loop or a for loop. I'm going to do it using a for loop. So using a for loop, we write for i equals one. So starting with one, i less or equal to 10. So 10 iterations i plus plus and this i plus plus is telling it to start with one and then go to two and yada yada so you get it okay um and then let's see <laughs> the most important component is here and this is kind of like the formula that we not kind of this is the formula that we came up with and the theory video uh it allowed us to say what the estimated zero is and confusingly, I'm going to say that the estimated zero is called initial guess. And I'll explain in a second why that's got to be. But we're going to say that initial guess is equal to initial guess minus um, f of initial guess divided by f prime of initial guess. Okay, now, um, in my... Uh, how and um yeah my how video of newton's method and why right uh i explained that i explained sorry hold on one sec i explained that you know uh we'd have an estimate of the zero of the actual function uh so the actual zero um using a tangent line uh, using the zero of the tangent line. So this is supposed to be the zero of the tangent line. And this is what I had called um, in my theory video x1. So initial guess is x1. Um, so it makes sense that I have x1 minus f of x1 uh, divided by f prime of x1 because that's consistent with the formula that we came up with and the um, theory video. So the question is why we call uh, this the guess um, or the estimate of the zero, why we call it initial guess. Because I ex as I explained in that video, right, if the zero that your tangent line finds you is not close enough to the actual zero, then you're going to take that zero and replace x1 with it, right? So x1 becomes the zero. And that's why initial guess is x1 and also the estimate. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so that should make sense. Um, and the theory video, uh, what is here on the left side is written as x hat, 
whereas the rest of them are um, x1 here, here, and here. But as I just said, x1 um, is going to be replaced with the zero of the tangent line until we feel that uh, you know the estimate is good enough. And of course here, we're not setting a criteria for the estimate being good enough. We're just iterating it enough times and seeing if the iteration you know, gives us a good enough uh, estimate of the actual zero. And it should. 10 iterations starting with a guess of 5 should do the job. Uh, but we'll see, right? Okay, so here it is. And we're done now. And so the only thing there is left to do is to print the result. So let's say print. Uh, before I print, let me show you a little something that I'm going to include and what I print uh, so that you're not confused. So obviously, we all know that 2 thirds is um, 0.66. So if you wanted to get, instead of the exact value, 2 thirds, an approximate value or the decimal equivalent, you'd put an N with hard brackets around it and then hit enter and you get that. And so uh, we're going to use N here so that we don't get uh, crazy answers. So what we want to print is uh, let's agree what we want to print is the estimate and therefore uh, the initial guess what we've called initial guess which is going to be the estimate of the zero so we want to print it for sure and after all my preaching I shouldn't forget to write n and uh, yeah and we would also like to know um, the value of um, the estimate when plugged into f because it should be close to zero very close to zero right so we'd like to know f of initial guess here we go and moment of truth uh let's see if um i have done this well and you're served um hit enter there we go as expected right uh, that's what we expected no right here like so the estimate for the zero is three so the estimate is actually exact and um, you know it's not really exact because after 10 iterations this isn't exactly zero but come on it's like 10 to the negative 615 so practically zero right all right cool um, now I had said that if our initial guess was closer to uh, the other zero of this function, would, which would be negative three, then this guess should be negative three, or this estimate should be negative three instead of uh, positive three. So let's make our initial guess exactly that, which is closer to uh, negative three. So uh, let's say it's negative five. Then what do we get now? Um, there you go, as expected, negative three. Does that make sense? Cool. Yeah, I just saw you not in agreement. Um, take care.